What's up guys, Kurtz here and welcome to a brand new episode of What If Insert Team Name Here Sign Their Transfer Targets. Today we have Everton, but I want to say a couple things before we get stuck into it. Firstly, thank you so much for the incredible support. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing. This series has just blown up every single episode, so please continue to show your support by dropping a like. If we could get 600 likes in this episode, that'd be amazing. I've also made a playlist uh, of all the episodes of this as well, so if you guys do want to check that out, there is a link in the description down below. You'll find all the ones I've already done. Also, stick some suggestions in the comments uh, for ones you'd like to see me do in the future. And lastly, if you guys want a fast and reliable coin service, check out utcointraders.com. There is a link to them in the description down below. Anyway, in goal, we have Tim Howard. I can't see him being moved from his goalkeeper position. Uh, it, there's no, no reason they're not linked with any goalies or anything like that. Uh, moving on, also, uh, I, I, it's quite possible I will make a mistake in this as well, guys. I've done a lot of research. I've like researched all the players in, all the ones going out, all the rumours and stuff. But it is likely I've missed one or two or got something wrong. So if I do, apologies for that. But anyway, left back, we have Leighton Baines very heavily linked with a move away from Everton to follow Moyes over to Manchester United. But it hasn't seemed to materialise and I'm kind of thinking they're leaving it a bit late. Obviously, I know we're still only in July. But I kind of expect Moyes to have get, got it done a lot quicker before even the tour if he was to bring him over. So I'm not sure, but for now I'm going to keep him in the squad. Anyway, first of the two centre-backs we were going for, Phil Jagielka, had an amazing season this season. In fact, even got himself a Team of the Season card on FIFA. And he's just been brilliant and can't see him being displaced from that slot. Next up, we have Jolian Lescott. He, again, is uh, he's out of favour with Man City. He's not even in the top three picks of centre-backs there, and he is very heavily linked with a move away. I could see him going to Everton. There is a lot of rumours uh, for him to come over to Everton, and I could, I could really see it. Now, uh, one of the big issues as well is there's a lot of other centre-backs at Everton, but I think he would jump straight in there and have a great English uh, partnership with Jagielka. Anyway, into right-back, we have Seamus Coleman. He, again, has had a fantastic season playing at right-back. He's on right-mid on the game, but... But he has spent most of his time there, more attacking right back role. And uh, yeah, I can't see anyone other than him getting that slot. Anyway, left mid, we don't have Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, as I seem to be clicking on. We actually have Stephen Pienaar, another player who's had a very inspired season. A lot of these Everton players have just really outplayed themselves this year, and Pienaar's been fantastic down the left, and uh, I can't see anyone else coming in. Obviously, for that slot now, I know there's people already going to be commenting, but just wait before you mention Delafou. Anyway, centre mid, we have Marouane Fellaini, again, another one who has had a great season. In fact, I'll move him over to that side. He's been absolutely amazing this year, and he will definitely be in the side. Next up, we have, oh, if I can actually get the filters right, we have Leon Osman there. Uh, he actually got his England call-up this season. That's how well he's been playing. I cannot see him being removed from the squad because he had such a great season, so I can imagine sticking him right there. So, you may be thinking, uh, Curtis, you've only put one new player in, so j just bear with me. We've got a couple more to go. Obviously, we have Morales here, uh, who has been playing out wide most of the season and has been fantastic out there. He's been playing right mid since look, maybe like December or something. Next up, we have uh, Delafu. He has actually come on loan from Barcelona and he, uh, I could see him playing like, it's hard to put it in this formation but it, I can see him playing like in front of Osman, like in between him and Pina, like a left attacking mid centre forward role, just off the striker but also slightly out wide, it's hard to really put it on here but um yeah, he won't be playing straight up centre forward, but Pinar and Morales will be staying in the squad, I believe. But he will be getting involved in it massively. And anyway, last but not least, we have Aruna Kone. He has been brought over from Wigan, obviously, to follow Martinez. And he's not the only player that I expect to follow Martinez over there. Obviously, Joel obviously uh, already has, rather. Uh, McManamum and Maloney are also very heavily linked to follow their boss, uh, their gaffer, over to Everton. And I can see these two also making a move. Other linked players as well as uh, Scott Sinclair, uh, obviously, out of favour, at Man City and this Sequera uh, guy I'm not really sure what's going on with him there's places saying he signed places saying he hasn't I really don't quite understand uh, what the news is with him and last but not least as well Jelovic who is still in the squad but since he had quite a poor end of the season and now Kone has come in I can kind of see him getting displaced from that role but anyway let's go on to some gameplay and talk a little bit more about the team over there so uh, I have only really got a couple new players in here they've already done some of their sign-ins as well with like Kone and uh, uh, someone else who I can't even remember off the top of my head, but um, yeah, oh, Delafu obviously on loan. So um, yeah, these guys, there's not really too many new ones already coming in, but there is still quite a few rumoured, as I included on the bench. Uh, I am trying to keep these as like a minimum sort of uh, of all the new players. Like I don't want to overdo it. That's one thing, one of the good bits of feedback I've had from this series. You guys seem to like it where I don't overdo it. I don't want to put like five new players in because how often really, other than like a team like Monaco or maybe City, do they actually sign like five major new signings? 
thing. So I've tried to keep it like some of them have already got one or two. If that's the case, I'm only going to put like one or two new ones in as well as the ones that they've already signed. So I'm trying to keep it a bit of a minimum. Don't want to overdo it. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Thank you again for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.